Oh, okay. You don't want me to hear any, any of the bad stuff, Beth. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, right. You got it. <laughs> Boy, that was really neat. Mm -hmm. That was very interesting. And tell me again, though, when did you uh, when did you first, first hear that music? When I was kind of, when I was about to go through the tunnel. The, through the tunnel. Yeah. And and what was the tunnel? It was like a huge mural or something. Mhm. Mm well, tell me everything you remember, though. You said that the last thing you remember was trying to get your seatbelt unbuckled. And what happened after that? I do know that then I did see the water filling up. Mm -hmm. So, but when water was when the car was completely filled with water, there was nothing else. It was like blank, and it started coming toward this huge tunnel. Mm hmm. And what was that like? Well, it felt pretty neat. Cause it felt like I was floating through the air. I was floating through the air and then going through the huge noodle. How did you know it was a huge noodle? Well, it's not... It, well, when I told to my mom, I said it was a huge noodle because that's the only thing I could think of it. But now I know that it's really a tunnel. How do you know that now? Well, because... The huge noodle was just like a tunnel. It went straight, and it didn't have anything in your way. It wasn't like a spiral noodle, so it's either a tunnel or a noodle, and it was a rainbow. I'm going to give a noodle for rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happened after that? How did you get in this noodle? Well, it was just an empty hole, and I couldn't control where I was floating, so, so it made, so I was like deep. Forced to go through the noodle by probably by wind or something. I didn't have control over where I was floating, so I kept floating, floating along the end of the huge noodle. And then I did have a chance to choose which smaller tunnel I wanted to go into. Mm -hmm. That's about the only thing I could choose. And how could you choose that? I don't know how and not be able to choose all the other things, but I by then I was able to, to like float in the air by like swimming, uh, swimming in the air. I could do that and it would bring me forward. Mm -hmm. And then once I got into the tunnel, the wind took over me and bring me right through again. And what happened after that? Do you remember how I already told you? Uh-huh. I remember about the bumblebee. But I guess the part I was confused about is then how did you get back in your body when you said something was zapped? What do you mean by that? Well, that's, that's, it's like I yeah. was disappeared out of that land and then going in to the human of it. And it's like I disappear 
there and then I reappear outside. Mm -hmm. So I have a chance to see it again. So I chose the other one. And that was human heaven. What's human heaven like? Well, it's, it's not really like the human heaven the part that I do find like it. But I do have an idea of what it is. Because I, I have that picture in my mind then. Mm -hmm. It's like... Well, it's like on top of a cloud. And you have gates. Some gates. It's made out of gold, copper, and silver. And stuff. And then when you go through the gates, there's a cement walkway with a fountain in it. And it goes around the fountain with two walkways. And other than that, there's a garden around and then you go into like a golden castle. And that's it. There's a golden castle? Yeah. Pretty, pretty bright gold. Do you think, what should we do about the phone? Should we get the phone or? We shouldn't get it. Just shouldn't get it. Curious about that, um, when you were talking about uh, that castle, what that was like. Well, I wasn't able to go inside. I don't have any vision of what was inside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it was a golden castle? Yeah, it was golden. It was like any old regular castle. It had towers, but it wasn't run down or anything. Mm-hmm. And, and how did you, um, I mean, why couldn't you go in it? Or what happened then then? I wasn't able to go in it. Mm -hmm. I a picture of that was in my mind. I, I see. Mind. Could, could you explain that to me again? Because that's an important part, and, and I'm not sure I understand that. You mean <laughs> About the picture in your mind. Well, can't, can't you make pictures in your mind? You just think them, and you can think of the picture? Yes, I can. Yeah. I see of what it was like. Yeah. But you're not sure that you saw that, but that's the picture in your mind of it? Or yeah. the picture in my mm -hmm. mind. Did you have this picture while you were in the noodle, or did you have this picture now, thinking about what happened in the noodle? No, I had the picture when, when you asked me, I, had, I know I had the picture when I was like in the human heaven, in an ambulance, like right scene of my mom's mother's death. I understand, yes. How did your mom's mother die? From cancer. She died from cancer? Did she get taken away in an ambulance for that? Yeah. When did that happen? Well, I don't know, but it, it was like, it was probably about 1984 when I was born. Uh-huh. Were you, were you present when your mom was taken, when your grandma was taken away in an ambulance? No. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I understand. So, so you just had an, an image of your grandma being taken away in an ambulance. Well, not in the ambulance. I was, like, there. You were there. Yeah, because that was, like, the human heaven where she was. I understand. Okay. And then what happened after that? Well, that was when we were in... Then I noticed that that could either be the heaven... Or the present time. Yes. Because that could have been my mom. But I think it was my mother and it was the same time. We came to my home hospital where I was born. And then, I think, I, it's like, it's like then it wasn't a real. Yeah. It's not in your life I understand. Yeah, I understand that completely. Now, how did you get back in your body? Actually, I do know. They did take my body. Because they didn't know I was dead. But they took my body over to the hospital where mm -hmm. I could get into it. I see. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you very, very much. Boy, that's hard to talk about, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What was its title again?
What do you mean? Like you told me that it had a name. The noodle? That the, your picture had a name. This? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I, I must have misunderstood. But uh, can you tell me about that picture? Oh, this is a picture of the huge noodle I came in. On this it says, like, can you rebuild? I used that for a pint. So it's just like cut these things off and you have the entrance to my noodle. And this other one I did start calling, but I couldn't finish. So this was good enough. Yeah, that's good enough, you think. I agree. Well, I saw, like, the same thing from the computer. Yeah, here, okay. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And then, um, did, did, did anything else happen when you were, when you were near the flowers? No. No? And I couldn't see anything that flowers, but there was a fog around me. Oh, there was a fog around you? Yeah. All I could see was the flowers. Okay, but you couldn't see, like, beyond the flowers because of the fog? Is that good? Yeah. Okay. No, I couldn't see the flowers. Yeah, you just saw the flowers and then there was fog yeah. around. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, it was in the animal, the flowers were in the animal heaven, right? Yeah. And the, and the, um, you just heard the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, yeah, I, I think I've understood you. Well, what do you say? Can, uh, should I videotape Cindy then when she tells us about her experience? That, you think that's a fair bargain? Yeah. <laughs> Is that all right if I could, could I hear your experience as well? <laughs>